In this video, I will show you how to enable Remote Desktop on Ubuntu Desktop 24 using XRDP, an open source implementation of Microsoft's RDP protocol. We'll start by installing XRDP. After that, I'll show you how to connect remotely from a Windows computer. We'll also cover some of XRDP's limitations, how to work around them, and what other remote desktop solutions are available. Also keep in mind that this guide is for Ubuntu Desktop. For Ubuntu Server, check out the VNC Server Installation Guide in the video description. Start by updating the package list and installing XRDP. Okay, XRDP is installed. Now let's check the status of the XRDP service. Here XRDP is running and is set to start automatically on System Reboot. If it's not running, you can start the service with SystemCTL Start XRDP and enable it to start automatically with SystemCTL Enable XRDP. The main configuration file, xrdp.ini is located in the etc. XRDP directory. In this file, you'll find the port number used for remote connections to the Ubuntu desktop. The default port is 3389, and if your computer is behind a firewall, you need to open this port. If you encounter issues with XRDP connections, you can find the log files in the var log directory for troubleshooting. Now let's try to connect our Ubuntu desktop from a Windows computer. Okay, what happened here is that we were able to connect and authenticate to the remote server, but the connection terminated immediately. The reason is that XRDP does not allow you to log in to both the local desktop and the remote desktop at the same time with the same user. This is one of XRDP's limitations. So here if we log out from the local session, we will be able to connect remotely. This time we successfully connected to the remote desktop. In my experience, XRDP can be slow in the beginning. Applications may not launch on the first click, but performance usually improves after a minute or so. This could be another limitation of XRDP. Also, when you want to end the connection, don't just close the client. You need to log out the user instead. If you don't, you may run into trouble logging into the local session. This can be another issue. We can't log in to the same user from both the local session and the remote desktop. What we can do is use a separate user account for remote login. If you make a separate account for remote access, log into it locally at least once before you try to connect remotely. That lets Ubuntu set up the desktop environment properly. After that, keep the account logged out. Personally, I've found that XRDP isn't the best choice for remote desktop on Ubuntu. There are better options like No Machine, AnyDesk, and TeamViewer. Installation guides for those will be in the video description. Also, if you need a remote desktop solution for Ubuntu Server, I recommend using a VNC server with the XFC desktop. You can find the installation guide in the description. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more tech tips and tutorials.